working for NASA is many people's dream. As we enter a new age, it's likely that space missions will only increase as the years go on, with scientists saying that hopefully in the not-so-distant future, humans will be able to venture to the moon along with Mars. NASA's chief scientist Jim Green has announced that he's retiring. This is after 40 years of service at NASA. Jim Green said the following, I feel tremendously proud about the activities I've done at NASA. In many ways, NASA is not a job. It's a way of life. We're always looking for ways to do the impossible. The fact that we continue to succeed and do things is a tremendous excitement for everyone, and really is important not just for NASA, but for the nation. End quote. According to various sources, Green is pushing for scientists to look into transforming Mars so that humans will be able to live there. Changing a planet so that it becomes habitable for humans is no easy task, but Dr. Green believes that by thickening Mars's atmosphere by using a giant magnetic shield, temperatures will increase and will allow humans to walk here freely. Dr. Green also said that if we were able to achieve this, it would also help us to explore this region and hopefully find signs of life. Dr. Jim Green said that such a mission would likely help us find life on Mars. However, he has said that he doesn't think people of our planet would be ready for this news. It's no secret that we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time, and in regards to space, although it's massive, we have discovered some incredible things in recent years. It's been suggested by the scientists that this mission will likely be going on for the next few years, and that it will take time to find out if there's really life on Mars. Dr. Green said the following about upcoming missions. I've been worried about that because I think we're close to finding it, and making some announcements. It will start a whole new line of thinking. I don't think we're prepared for the results. End quote. Dr. Green has said he's excited for this next step, and has wished the European Space Agency and Russia the best of luck on their mission. Dr. Green went on to say that if we discovered life, it would be an incredible milestone, but that it would also lead to many questions that we may not be able to answer. For example, how did life get there? And are we related in some way and how long has it been there? Dr. Green said the following in regards to transforming the planet. It's doable. Stop the stripping and the massive pressure is going to increase. Mars is going to start terraforming itself. That's what we want. The planet to participate in this way that it can. When the pressure goes up, the temperature goes up. End quote. Not only have they made it far cheaper and more affordable to begin efforts for the transportation required in a colonization project, but the deadlines and launch dates for the first manned mission to Mars will be launched in early 2023 and will land on Mars to begin the first steps necessary for colonization soon after. The main issues with developing a colony on Mars is related more to the planet's size, and lack of an electromagnetic field. Given the fact that Mars is much smaller than Earth, the gravity on the red planet is only around 38% of that of the Earth, which means that any human inhabitants that set on the planet will be unable to return to Earth due to their bones and muscles degrading, which will cause them to be crushed by the Earth's atmosphere. The lack of an electromagnetic field also means that the planet is constantly under attack from cosmic radiation. That will mean that colonies will need to be placed underneath large supplies of water to prevent the radiation from hitting the inhabitants. The interesting thing about space is that there's no shortage of planets. One that caught scientists' attention was that of Kepler-20f. Although Kepler-20f is more than 929 light years away from Earth, meaning that it would take more than 900 years of traveling at the speed of light before humanity could even reach the planet with current theories of space travel, it's still a primal location for the establishment of future colonies. 
and holds more similarities to Earth than Venus. In fact, the planet Kepler-20f is much cooler than Venus, being more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at its maximum temperature. When the planet was first discovered back in 2011, it was noticed as being a rocky planet with the same mass, radius and gravity as planet Earth, while also supporting a rich atmosphere believed to be containing vast amounts of water vapour. Unfortunately, this water vapour causes a runaway greenhouse effect that sees the planet at an overall temperature too hot to support life. However, with a few modifications to the environment, it could very well be a much better twin than Venus, without the need of extensive terraforming. In fact, the other celestial bodies in the region of Kepler-20f are believed to hold a vast amount of resources that could be used in mining efforts to help terraform the planet with megastructures constructed. By sending a separate human colony to the planet over many generations, the planet could potentially be a new starting ground for all of human life. NASA and other space agencies have said the next 10 years will be big for space exploration, and that new missions are always being suggested in order to make humans a space-faring species. Time will tell whether these missions become a success. So what do you make of these announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.